Hey everybody, welcome back to Suck Less Saturday. I'm Neil here in the ASP headquarters. My home office. John. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we want to talk to you a little bit about your dry fire plan and what you're doing to get better. Mm. You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of active self protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. A lot of people dry fire. They, they do. And I, I don't think everybody dry fires to the degree that they say they do, but right. I think a lot of people dry fire. We see in our group uh, in the Ask Dry Fire Challenge on Facebook, yeah, around 4,000 people yeah, a little more in the now. group, and, and we see a lot of videos, a lot of people working. Um, but the thing that I want to talk about today is the plan that yeah. people have. You know, I think that, that that's it. People kind of wander around, and they mm -hmm. just kind of, well, I just dry fire. Well, to do what? To get better. To get better at what? Yeah, what, I what I are you shooting my at? gun? Well, that's a very broad category, right? Yeah. Like, you know, shooting my gun has a, a lot of, of different pieces and parts to it. So, so what I'd really encourage you to think about, uh, if you want to suck less, is we've spent all this time, and we've talked about this a whole bunch on Suck Less Saturday recently, on, on how to uh, use a timer effectively, how to mark your accuracy, and mm -hmm. then at distance, now we added time. So distance, time, accuracy, great. Um, now you know where you are. And if you don't know where you are, well, go back up and watch those videos and then know and where you are. Yeah. And then say, okay, well, I wanna get to the next place where I am. Actually, uh, I'm gonna say it again, and this isn't just a promo video trying to get you in the Ask Dry Fire Challenge. Here's the, the big thing. We don't make no money on the Ask Dry Fire Challenge. There's, it's nothing, not, yep. there, there's, no, there's no profit game in that for us. It's just a, a labor of love. We had a, a man post a video in there very recently, uh, and he said, look, I'm consistently a 1.4 second draw in first shot, but I know I've got 1.2. I just don't know how to get there. Can I get some advice? Yes, absolutely. Work on this thing. So he had a goal in mind. I know I'm 1.4. I want to get to 1.2. Aha, now I have yep. a goal. I just don't know how to get there. Now, so the first thing, if you're gonna make a dry fire plan is, what's your goal? That goal might be, I wanna drop my draw and first shot time to down to 1.2 seconds from where I am right now. Cool, what do I need to work on to get there? Now you need a little bit of coaching. Now you need to understand what are the, what's the path to getting there? What's the path to making that there? So what we do here at Active Self Protection Extra is give you technique and tactics and times and, and uh, you know, ways to get better at things. So I'm, no joke, if you're wondering, well, what technique is best to target transition faster? Search the channel. It's, yep. it's There's there. Something there. Yep. <laughs> There's something there. Um, now, once I have that, okay, so I've got a, a goal in mind. I know the technique that's going to get me there. How much practice do I have to put in to make that happen? I would strongly suggest if you're going to try to get a high level goal, you know, you're not watching this video if you're trying to jump from A class to master class in USPSA, right. okay? You've got a path in mind. But if you're a normal, like, you know, typical human and you want to make that jump from there and, and just say, hey, I want to get uh, down to a 1.2 draw to first shot. I don't think you need to work an hour every day. You know, we talked to right. Riley Bowman during the, the pandemic. He went from a really good shooter to a, I'm sorry, what shooter? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I go, Riley, what happened? He's like, dude, I was sitting at home. I didn't have anything to do. I spent two to three hours every day dry firing. And now that's why Riley Bowman is Riley Bowman in terms of who he is with a handgun. For most of us, I don't think that's realistic. I don't think it's healthy, quite frankly. You've right. got other things to do. Um, we didn't while well, we were all sitting home in quarantine. Yep. Okay, fine. Uh, but, but 10 or 15 minutes, you know, if you can, if you can put 10 minutes, five days a week in 10 minutes, that's like, I mean, 10 minutes. Yeah. It's, it's nothing. It, and, and, you know, if you go back and look through a lot of different videos and some of the challenges that I've done, it's 10 minutes a day, three to five days a week. Right. Um, and we're seeing people do great, you know, uh, really do great things with their gun and, and have great improvements. And like you say, this is more for the average Joe, yeah. right? So if you're already at a, you know, a, a 1.1 second draw to first shot and you want to get to a dot eight, eh, I, we can help you with that for sure. Absolutely. But you might be at the place where, hey, you know what? I need to go take a class. Yeah. You know, uh, but there are some techniques and some things you can work on. There's some resources out there other than even us that can help you get there. What? I mean, I w watch the stuff. This is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but you know, the thing that I see over and over and over again is just like you say, people are just wandering around. Um, I talk to people on a pretty I regular basis. I that, see this a lot. It's, yep. it's. Yep. 
No idea what I'm getting, why I'm getting it. Just do it again and again. Oh, yep. I'm gonna, or I'm just sitting here going, yep, I can, I can put a little laser beam. This is a cert pistol, by the way. Um, I can put a little laser beam on the wall and make my cat chase it or whatever. Exactly. Uh, um, or, I'm no sitting, focus. or I'm sitting in front of my TV. That's what I hear from a lot of people. I sit in front of the TV and I'm trying to learn my trigger. And so they're literally sitting there like this, just watching TV and racking the slide and learning where the break of their triggers. And while, I mean, there's some safety concerns and a whole lot of concerns I have there, it's not a bad idea to learn your trigger. It's not, but I don't but, think you can do it while you're watching TV because yeah. you've got to focus. Yeah, you've got to focus on this thing. So we're talking, when we say 10 minutes, three to five times a week, we're talking 10 minutes where you focus on this. 10 focused, mm -hmm. undistracted minutes. With your own plan. Yes. And, and based on where you are, not where I'm asking you to be or where John's asking you to be or where somebody else in the dry fire group is, it's where you are. And so that's why when we started all of this stuff about timers several weeks ago, it, we talked about going out and learning where you are. Figure out where you are yeah. with your your draw to first shot. Um, also figure out where you are with your own accuracy and then come up with a plan that you wanna get better. Maybe you wanna be faster, maybe you wanna be more accurate. Everybody will tell us, I wanna be faster and more accurate. Pick one and get right. better at that, and then pick the other. I, so this is where tools, you know my dry fire tools, I use the Mantis all the time. I've used this one enough that quite frankly, it's starting to have problems. And, yeah. and listen, some people are like, <gasps> it had problems? Dry fire and live fire as much as I do, and you're gonna break things, it's just gonna yeah. happen. It's, it's hardware, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but maybe you go, hey, I wanna be more accurate, and, and so I want my benchmark to come up and be better, and so I'm gonna learn how to grip the gun better, sight the gun, and trigger the gun. Super useful tool. Uh, maybe that goal is I want my benchmark, my, my 10 shot benchmark over 90, and I haven't been able to do that. That's a great benchmark to make, by the way. Yep. If you can get a 90, you're doing great. Or uh, I wanna get faster, so I'm gonna work in the, the recoil analysis to see if I can get my sights to come back faster and my, my angles to change and get better and then go find the technique to do that. Practice that technique, 15, 10 to 15 minutes a day, three to five days a week, and then measure it again in six weeks. That would be my bigger one. Set a six week yep. goal, yeah. pick it, make something that is that is attainable in that. If your goal, you say, okay, I'm a very beginning shooter and I want to win the USPSA Nationals. You're not gonna win that in six weeks, okay? Yep. You're just not. Um, but you can say, hey, I want to increase my draw speed from 2.7 to 2.0. All right, we can do that. Yep. Let's find the technique to make that happen. I want to increase my benchmark on the X10 um, from the 82, 83, I'm typical right now into the 90s. All right, great, now what's my path to doing that? So set a goal, find a path, and we're gonna have to do some research to get to that path. Uh, and, and a class is an important idea here, but you probably, you might be able to see the technique even on YouTube uh, if you then are in a place like the Ask Dry Fire Challenge yep. group where people, where you can get feedback, hey everybody, what do you think about this? What ought I do? What do you see here? How do I get better? And then just do the work. Yeah. It, th that's really the key is, is make a plan and then do the work. Yeah. Making a plan and not following it doesn't get you anywhere. Right. Um, and doing the work without a plan doesn't get you anywhere. Uh, it's, it's putting those two together. So. And, and listen. If you struggle, you miss a day on your plan, you know what I mean? You, you, you make a plan together and then you miss a dry fire day, okay, just let it go. Don't feel bad. Don't, you know, I said, well, I gotta abandon the whole goal. Nah, no, man, just no. keep going where you were. Uh, but, but actually make the plan and make it happen. Yep. And, and I'll, I'll tell you from, from personally for me, um, I have all these plans and then I have a life that gets set on fire on a pretty regular basis at home. And you know, a six week plan may take eight weeks, may take 10 weeks yeah. sometimes just to get through just because life happens. And that doesn't mean, I hope that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I wouldn't think it was a bad person for anybody else to have uh, additional priorities, but you can't abandon it, and if you do, yeah. that's where you're gonna have the fault. You're gonna falter, and then it's really hard to get back into it after you've abandoned. That's something that I see a lot of people do. They're like, ah, oh, I didn't get it done. And now I really struggle to get started because they're starting back over and they feel like I've done this already. And it's really a difficult thing. So, so John, talk to us about an assignment for this week for folks. Your assignment is find a goal that's achievable for you, right? Find whatever that goal is. Now, I can't set it for you. Um, I, I can tell you that in my own life right now, I am working so hard to shoot 100 on a B8, on a 25-yard <laughs> untime B8. Um, I, and, and I'm, the, I've done it one time. I want to, I want to, you know, one time's a fluke though. Right. Right. Well, you know? Yeah. And, and so I want to get, I want to get where I can expect a hundo. Um, that's what I'm working on right now, but I'm not telling you what to work on. Maybe you are, maybe you're one of those hundo gangs and, and you want to get that hundo. 
cool. Or, or maybe that's a, on a 10, 10, 10, you know, you want to get a hundred on a 10, 10, 10. That's a heck of a challenge yeah. as well. Now, if you, uh, whatever that goal is, I want you to set a goal. That's number one. And it could be, I want to get a 90 on a Mantis benchmark, or, um, I want to pass the FBI qual or I want, you know, so whatever your goal is, however that, I want to pass a Gila Hayes five by five. Yep. It's a great goal. All right. Now Gila Hayes five by five is a five inch circle at five yards at low ready on the beep, shoot five shots into the five inch circle in five seconds. Claude Werner calls that a black belt test. Yep. I think it's more like a blue belt test, yeah. but you know, hey, yeah. uh, okay, he's Claude Werner, I'm not. Um, and, and do it five times. If you do that, you've got the, the Gila Hayes test. Okay, fine. Um, whatever your goal is. Now you got a goal. Now you know where, if you know where you are right now, mark yourself out a path. So set a goal, know where you are right now. I'm here, I wanna be there. What path am I gonna do? What work am I gonna do for 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, three to five days a week to make that happen? And then put it in your calendar, put it in your schedule that says, um, here's time to dry fire, time to do the thing, time to get that thing, and uh, let us know how it goes. Come join us in the Ask Dry Fire Challenge Group on Facebook. Yeah. If you have questions about this, if this is something that you want some help through, there's a there's a hundred people there that are going to respond and give you great ideas. Uh, the cool part of the group yeah. too is that we don't allow people to be jerks. Uh, yep, we moderate it. There's no negativity. Uh, somebody gets negative in there. We I have a chat with them pretty quickly. Uh, this is about helping everybody get better from where they are. Yeah. Uh, we're not all. John Korea. Oh, jeez. We're not all Riley Bowman. None of us are Riley Bowman. No, only Riley's Riley. Riley. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're, we're, everybody is where they are. And frankly, Riley Bowman's one of the guys in the group. Yeah. And, and offering expert advice expert in there. Expert advice. Chris Tim, Bean. Chris Bean. Tim, Tim Heron. Heron. Scott Jedlinski. Scott Jedlinski uh, said something to somebody the other day, which he's not in there all that much. He's not on Facebook a ton. But that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, so yeah, come join us.